we want to write an equation for the graph of the rational function based upon the graph. To do this, we'll find the equation of the rational function in factored form, or this form here given below, where a is a constant, and we'll have factors in the numerator and factors in the denominator. Let's start by identifying the key characteristics of the graph. Let's start with our intercepts. Notice how this graph has an x-intercept here of negative two. This is the point negative two, zero. It has a y-intercept of negative two as well. This would be the point zero, negative two. Now let's find our vertical asymptotes. We have a vertical asymptote here at x equals negative four. And we have another vertical asymptote here at x equals positive one. This is enough information for us to determine our rational function. But we do have to remember that if we know we have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative four and x equals positive one, this gives us information about the factors in the denominator. And if we have an x-intercept of negative two, this gives us information about a factor in the numerator. And then using the y-intercept or this point here, we can determine the value of our constant a. Let's begin to set this up over here on the right. We'll have f of x equals, we'll find a in the second step. So we'll have a times a rational function. And let's begin with our vertical asymptotes. Again, knowing the vertical asymptotes gives us information about the factors in the denominator. Remember, the vertical asymptotes are found by finding the zeros of the denominator, or these are the values that make the denominator equal to zero. So if we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative four, x plus four must be a factor in the denominator. And if we have a vertical asymptote at x equals one, x minus one must be a factor of the denominator. Now let's talk about the x-intercept. If the function contains the point negative two, zero, that means f of negative two must equal zero. Well, rational functions are equal to zero when the numerators are equal to zero. So x equals negative two is a zero of the numerator, which means the numerator must contain a factor of x plus two. Now we have everything except the value of a, and we can find the value of a by using this point here or our y-intercept. If the function contains the point zero, negative two, that means f of zero must equal negative two. So we'll find f of zero and set it equal to negative two and then solve for a. So we'll have a times, again, x is equal to zero, so we would have two in the numerator. The denominator is going to be four times negative one, and this must equal negative two. This is gonna be negative two-fourths or negative one-half, so we have negative one-half times a equals negative two. Then we'll go ahead and multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative one-half, or negative two over one. So this simplifies to a, and negative two times negative two is positive four, which means our rational function, f of x, is equal to four times this fraction, or four times the quantity x plus two, divided by the quantity x plus four, times the quantity x minus one. This function contains the characteristics of the given graph. And notice how the degree of the numerator is degree one, the degree of the denominator is degree two. Since the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, we would have a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero. Looking at the graph, y equals zero is the x-axis, which is our horizontal asymptote. So everything checks. I hope you found this helpful.